Cameras are not allowed onto the premises, and security here at the sewage plant has been beefed up. Just meters from the plant, sewage can be seen in the river. In the space of two months, E. coli levels have increased from 86 per 100 milliliters of water to more than 600 per 100 milliliters. Dairy farmer Dave Harmon used water from this river for irrigation. His cows have become infected, and this has compromised his cheese production. He's had to dispose seven tons of cheese. About four years ago, I had some problems with my cheese. I sent it to be tested, and it was found that there was some E. coli in the cheese. Tobacco and vegetable farms have also been affected. They are just putting chlorine into some of these ponds. Uh, it's putting the chlorine up so the tobacco farmers won't be able to farm tobacco anymore. And as we go on, we will have problems to produce vegetables and so on. For years, locals have been getting their drinking water from this channel. Now they fear waterborne diseases. We don't drink this water anymore. One day it is green, the next day it's red. You can see things floating in the river. The town of Fruit Mariko has no sewage plant. Sewage is supposed to be taken to the Zierist works by truck, but instead it is dumped into the felt. The Ngaka Mudiri Molema district municipality initially agreed to an interview with the SABC, but they later retracted and are now refusing to comment.